Here we have a fetal pig model as covered by Bio 182 Zoology here at Golden West College in Huntington Beach, California. This is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Subphylum Craniata, Infraphylum Vertebrata, Superclass Nathostomata, Class Mammalia, Order Arteodactyla. And we'll start off by looking at just a couple of structures here on the pig's left hand side. We're looking at the esophagus and the submaxillary gland and the thymus gland. And then we'll let them relax. And then here we have the thyroid gland, the larynx, the trachea. Some blood vessels in the area include the, the carotid artery, the internal jugular, and the external jugular. We can also see the anterior vena cava, shown right here. There are three muscles on this model that we'll pay attention to. One of them is the masseter muscle, shown here. Another is the external oblique, shown here. And, and the tensor fasciolate, here. Let's put this guy back together real quick, shall we? All sorts of structures are visible now. Here we have the lungs, and the membrane covering the lungs is the visceral pleura. Here we have the heart, the membrane covering the... Here we have the stomach, and the purple thing is the spleen, and the pancreas right here. At the end of the stomach, we have the pyloric valve, leading to the duodenum, leading to the beautiful, shiny, small intestine. Here we have a portion of the large intestine called the colon. All of the large intestine is that black color here. And if we take this and flip it over real quick, we can see a portion of the large intestine called the rectum. Rectum! Damn near killed him. Here we have a posterior vena cava. That's the blue dot right there. The M-shaped structure right here is the diaphragm. As well, we're seeing the trachea and the dorsal aorta in this view as well. So let's get rid of this one. Here we can see the parietal pleura is the membrane against the rib cage here, the parietal peritoneum against the body wall here. We have our dorsal or descending, and dorsal is a better way, uh, aorta, which branches many times. The first, one of the first branches here goes into the kidney that's called a renal artery, and that's coupled by a renal vein, which is the blue one here. These are our kidneys. These are the ureters, colored white. Those ureters lead to the urinary bladder. And alongside the urinary bladder, we have two umbilical arteries. Following the dorsal aorta farther, we find ourselves with an external iliac artery and external iliac vein. The vein then leads to the posterior vena cava and back up to the rest of the body. As well, we can see the diaphragm shown as this little flappy thing right here on the left and right sides. We have rearranged our pig. It's now laying on its ventral surface. We can see the ear flap here called the pinna. And then these are the nostrils. Vibrissae are not visible on this model, but they would be the whiskers around the nose. This is the tongue. And at the edge of the tongue, we have little structures called fungiform papilla. And then the roof of the mouth, right up here, the hard part of the roof of the mouth is called the hard palate. Here we have a focus on the mammalian brains. On the left-hand side, we have the rabbit brain. On the right-hand side, we have the dog brain. We're looking at just a few basic pieces of anatomy here. There's our olfactory lobe of our rabbit and our cerebrum of our rabbit. There's the cerebellum. And if you look real closer there, you can see a grayish blue thing. That's the optic lobe. And then the medulla oblongata down below. Let's take a look at the dorsal surface of our dog brain while we're here. Here's our olfactory lobe right here. And there's our cerebrum. They're so smart our cerebellum, and then our medulla oblongata down below. Let's flip these guys around, shall we? Oh, and there they are flipped around very nicely. Here we have our pituitary gland shown here and here. And then here's our pons here and here. There's some more medulla oblongata. And then we can see the optic nerves shown here and here. The optic chiasm right here, just kind of underneath where the two optic nerves will cross. Take a look here, you can see that blue-gray right there, and a blue-gray deep in there, and those are the optic lobes. 